back to my channel. I have a video that I am really excited about today. I am going to share with you guys my desk tour. Maybe you guys have briefly seen my desk and my room tour which I will include in the description. However, I kind of revamped it a little bit and made it more motivating and calm and comfortable for me to work in, especially during a time like this where honestly most people are working from home. It is so important to have that work environment that you can actually feel productive in. And so that is why I'm going to share mine, maybe give you guys some inspiration on how to decorate or how to make it feel more calm and relaxing and motivating. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh wait, I almost forgot. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I would just absolutely love that. It would help me so, so very much. Now let's get started. So this is an overview of my entire desk area. very first thing that I want to talk about is my desk. So this desk was very inexpensive. I actually got it from Home Goods. I can't remember exactly how much it was because I got it so long ago, but I do remember it being under $100. Originally, it was just a wooden top, and honestly, the wood did not look very good. I did keep it at its original state for quite a while. However, I just got tired of it. And so I took some temporary wallpaper and covered the desk with it and it just totally transformed it and I absolutely love it now. So here is a good close-up of the temporary wallpaper. As you can see, the one thing that bugs me is that the wallpaper does not cover the edge of the table. So there is a little bit of contrast right there. However, I think that's an easy fix. I can probably find some different temporary wallpaper that would cover the edge of that. However, I think overall it definitely makes the desk look so much better. As for the chair, I think I got this from Pier 1. I absolutely love this chair. It is very soft to the touch, which is really nice because if I am going to be working all day at my desk, I want to sit in a chair that is actually comfortable. I love the colors as well. I feel like it goes really nicely with the other colors that are incorporated into my room. So the chair is super fun. I like the legs to the chair. It's kind of this funky shape. Also, I just realized Honey has hidden one of our balls underneath the desk, so please ignore that. So as far as decorations, I have this fake fern, which honestly I think is so cute. It definitely looks realistic to me. So that is something that is important when I am trying to find a fake plant is ones that look realistic. I have it placed on top of this circular mirror which has these pretty gold accents. So I really love that considering there is a lot of gold on my table. Over here, I just have a picture of me and my friend, as well as this cute little glass that I actually use to keep SD cards in, which I'm, you know, using right now. So there's not an SD card in there as of right now. So on the right side of my desk, I have this lamp, which is super nice because when I'm working at night, I have some lighting. So that is always important. I also have one of these, what are they called? I swear I know what it is, guys, but I am totally blanking on that. So I'm just gonna call it a smell good thingy. I also have this really fun little calendar. Every single month is different, which I absolutely love. I'll kind of show you guys some of the prior months. I always get really excited to switch to the next just because I don't know what it is going to look like. So I don't really want to ruin that for myself. So I'm just going to show y'all some of the months that I have already seen. I just think those are so fun and cute. Up here, I keep my laptop as well as my Erin Condren planner, which I just love this planner. I think it is so useful in everything that they include. And I love the little colors. I feel like they 
they actually go really nicely with how my desk is decorated. And I love how much I'm able to personalize this. As far as the decoration goes, I absolutely love this little painting right here. I also got this at Home Goods, and it's just kind of inspiring to me. It's this girl, and she's just working. Looks like in New York, creating fashion pieces. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. I also have lots of gold accents up here, as well as this fun little plant. And I just love how I have laid everything out right here. It took me a while to figure out how I wanted to lay this out. As you can see, I have a bunch of little nail holes, which kind of bug me. I am just not the best at hanging stuff up, so it was definitely trial and error for a little while but I definitely love how this has turned out. Right here, because my desk does not have drawers, I do have these hanging file cabinets, not cabinets, file drawer thingies. And I feel like these are super helpful. And honestly, I think it's really cute. I don't remember where I got the little hanging file storage thing. I've had it for a very long time, but, but I love the blue accent color. I just feel like it really pulls everything together. So I won't spend too much time here, but right here I have different little organizational trays that I believe I got from Walmart. And they just hold highlighters, flash drives, random stuff like that. This little pencil holder I got from Goodwill, and I think that it works perfectly, and it was only a dollar, guys. I'm telling you, you can find some really good stuff at some thrift stores for very inexpensive, so that is a plus. Down here, I have this little bucket that I keep some of my YouTube stuff in, and I believe I got that from the container store, as well as I have some notebooks and other stuff that I use to study, etc., right at the bottom. So that is a good overview of my entire desk area. So I would like to run through a couple of my best tips on how to stay motivated when you're working at home. Cause let's face it, it can be really difficult to do that, especially with all of the distractions that you have around you when you are at home, like your phone, your TV. For me, especially my dog, she likes to bark at anything and everything and that can definitely be distracting. So especially in a time like this where most of us are working at home, I think it is very important to create a workspace for yourself that is calm and motivating and where you can actually get stuff done. So with that being said, my first tip is to create a nice and organized workspace that you actually enjoy being in, which is kind of what I have already showed you guys. If you create a nice and organized, clean, motivating, and calm workspace that is also not a very distracting workspace, maybe you put your phone away, maybe you're sitting away from your TV, that is going to be so helpful. I personally cannot work in an area that is super super cluttered and messy. So it helps me a whole lot to keep my space organized and it, it just helps keep my mind calm and I am able to focus at the task that is at hand. So that is my number one tip. Number two is a planner. And you guys, I know that a lot of you may use planners that are on your computer or whatever and maybe that works for you guys but i would almost highly recommend using a paper planner there is just something about a paper planner and actually writing down the tasks at hand that just really is motivating to me because something about crossing off those tasks make it feel so much more exciting to complete one. So I really love paper planners and actually writing stuff down. So my third tip I think is really important. And honestly, I think that this is a tip that can really help lead to a very productive day. And that is getting the task that you are dreading the absolute most, get that over with first just so it's not hanging over your head all day long and you're dreading it all day and you're thinking about it constantly, just get that horrible task over with. There's actually a quote that my boyfriend loves and he shared with me, I'm probably going to butcher this, but it's, I think it's slay your dragons before, slay your dragons at breakfast, no, no, okay. It's slay your dragons, before breakfast, 
so that they don't eat your lunch. I think that's right. Anyway, the meaning of it is get those horrible tasks over with first so that it does not ruin the rest of your day. And you know, you don't want a dragon eating your lunch. Okay, so um, my third tip is to get outside when you can. Honestly, if you are at a point where you are just not feeling productive and your mind is just not working how you would like it to, it is so important just to get some fresh air. Maybe go on a walk. I love taking my dog on walks. Also, it just gives me that physical exercise that I enjoy having and it gets you out of your house. So that's very important. Also along with that, we have our productive workspaces, but that does not mean that you necessarily need to stay there all day long because that can get kind of old and that can get boring. If you need to, don't be afraid to move around. A lot of times I like to work on my porch when I'm doing editing or whatever. A lot of times I will move to my couch and just that change of scenery can really be motivating and what a lot of us need so that we don't feel stuck in one place. This tip is kind of one that I somewhat already discussed as far as the planner goes, but make clear goals for your day. Write them out be able to cross them off at the end of the day, but if you don't make those clear goals of what you want to accomplish that day, then you may sell yourself short. You may be like, oh, I only have to complete two things because that's just what I feel like doing today. Whereas if you make a list at the very beginning of the day of five tasks that you need to complete before you finish, then you're going to complete them or hopefully at least have the motivation to complete them. Last but not least, as you could see from the beginning of this video, I made myself a nice warm cup of tea. A lot of times just having a warm beverage can really, at least for me, be a little bit more motivating. Even just taking the break to make it can give you that little brain rest. And honestly, it just makes that environment feel much more cozy and warm. And for me, I just feel like I can get more things done if I have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. A little hint of caffeine, you know, never hurts anyone at least that's my belief right there so warm beverage can definitely promote that calming environment and also just add a little bit extra enjoyment throughout your day okay you guys I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video again if you enjoyed it please subscribe and hit that thumbs up I hope this provided you guys some tips and tricks on how to make your workspace look and feel more calm and motivating if you guys have any tips please comment them below because you could help me out and you can help other people out through your comments so I would love to hear from you guys thank you guys so much and I will have a new video up for you guys every Tuesday and Friday Bye, guys.